a repetitive strain injury is an injury to the musculoskeletal and nervous systems that may be caused by repetitive tasks, forceful exertions, vibrations, mechanical compression, or sustained or awkward positions. RSIs are also known as cumulative trauma disorders, repetitive stress injuries, repetitive motion injuries or disorders, musculoskeletal disorders, and occupational or sports overuse syndromes. Definition Repetitive strain injury and cumulative trauma disorders are umbrella terms used to refer to several discrete conditions that can be associated with repetitive tasks, forceful exertions, vibrations, mechanical compression, or sustained awkward positions. Examples of conditions that may sometimes be attributed to such causes include edema, tendinosis, carpal tunnel syndrome, cubital tunnel syndrome, de Quervain syndrome, thoracic outlet syndrome, intersection syndrome, golfer's elbow, tennis elbow, trigger finger, radial tunnel syndrome, and focal dystonia. Since the 1970s there has been a worldwide increase in RSIs of the arms, hands, neck, and shoulder attributed to the widespread use of typewriters computers in the workplace that require long periods of repetitive motions in a fixed posture. Popular terms, specific sources of discomfort have been popularly referred to by terms such as Blackberry thumb, iPod finger, gamer's thumb, Rubik's wrist or Cuba's thumb, stylus finger, raver's wrist, and Emacs pinky, among others. History, although seemingly a modern phenomenon, RSIs have long been documented in the medical literature. In 1700, the Italian physician Bernardino Ramazzini first described RSI in more than 20 categories of industrial workers in Italy, including musicians and clerks. Carpal tunnel syndrome was first identified by the British surgeon James Paget in 1854. The Swiss surgeon Fritz de Quervain first identified de Quervain a Euro unregistered trademark S tendinitis in Swiss factory workers in 1895. The French neurologist Jules Tynel developed his percussion test for compression of the median nerve in 1900. The American surgeon George Fallon improved the understanding of the etiology of carpal tunnel syndrome with his clinical experience of several hundred patients during the 1950s and 1960s. Treatment RSIs are assessed using a number of objective clinical measures. These include effort-based tests such as grip and pinch strength, diagnostic tests such as Finkelstein's test for de Quervain's tendinitis, Fallon's contortion, Tynell's percussion for carpal tunnel syndrome, and nerve conduction velocity tests that show nerve compression in the wrist. Various imaging techniques can also be used to show nerve compression such as X-ray for the wrist and MRI for the thoracic outlet and cervicobrachial areas. The most often prescribed treatments for early-stage RSIs include drug therapies such as anti-inflammatory medications combined with passive forms of physical therapy such as rest, splinting, massage and the like. Low-grade RSIs can sometimes resolve themselves if treatments begin shortly after the onset of symptoms. However, some RSIs may require more aggressive intervention including surgery and can persist for years. General exercise has been shown to decrease the risk of developing RSI. Doctors sometimes recommend that RSI sufferers engage in specific strengthening exercises, for example to improve sitting posture, reduce excessive kyphosis, and potentially thoracic outlet syndrome. Modifications of posture and arm use are often recommended. See also, Carpal tunnel syndrome, list of repetitive strain injury software, sports injury, tendinitis, tendinosis, notes. External links, repetitive strain injuries at DMOZ, musculoskeletal disorders from the European Agency for Safety and Health at Work, Workrave application for prevention of RSI, Amadio PC. Repetitive stress injury. J bone joint sergum 83 a euro a. 136 a euro 7. Author reply 138 a euro 41. PMIDA 11205849 a, Harvard RSI Action, Prevention and Management of Repetitive Strain Injury, Epidemiological and Ergonomic Study of Occupational Factors Associated with Syndromes of Upper Limb Disorders in Keyboard Operators by M. Hansen and others. Institute of Occupational Medicine Research Report TM04, Development of an Aid to Identifying Task Elements, 
which may predispose individuals to work-related upper limb disorders by RA graveling and others. Institute of Occupational Medicine Research Report TMO8, Clinical Epidemiological Study of Relations Between Upper Limb Soft Tissue Disorders and Repetitive Movements at Work by C.J. English and others. Institute of Occupational Medicine Research Report TM19, 